Okay, welcome back to Hotheads Marine. This is a starboard 454. We got this engine running a couple weeks ago and it wasn't running quite well enough. That's the port engine. They've had some valve jobs, some new Holly carburetors put on them, right? Bunch of other stuff, fuel pumps, water pumps, blah, 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 all kinds of stuff. All new valves, valve springs, just tons of parts. And uh, this one had some piston rings that were stuck on the actual number one cylinder. And we used some Marvel Mystery Oil for a little bit, and we ran the engine a little bit, and we got the compression. It was at 50 pounds in that one cylinder, and we got it up to almost 90 pounds, but that was taking too long <clears throat> and kind of redundant. So we put it back up on the stand, and we took the port cylinder head off of this starboard engine. We removed the oil pan, and we took that piston out, that number one piston, and lo and behold, the piston rings were stuck badly. Both compression rings were stuck pretty bad. Uh, the second ring was about half stuck, halfway around, and the, the top compression ring was completely <clears throat> down. We uh, warmed the piston up and used marble mystery oil in a pan, and we did that for, I don't know, about four times until the rings started unsticking. Then we were able to move the rings uh, with a little bit of force carefully, clean the grooves out, clean everything up, and reassemble it. While we were inside, we noticed that the engine was uh, had been priorly rebuilt and was in fantastic condition. Crankshaft, bearings, everything looked really, really new. And um, I believe both of these engines had been completely rebuilt before the customer bought the boat or let the boat sit for quite a few years. And I'm not sure how long it sat, uh, but, you know, had to be five to eight years, I bet. So anyway, we just put some run-in oil in this one, and we got a little gas bottle there. We got the carburetor primed, but we were waiting for the auto parts to bring us some oil, and they just brought it. And Zach over here, I don't know what the timing is, because we had played with the timing a little bit, thinking that was it, so the timing may be off a little. Um, our choke, we're gonna need to um, hold our choke open with something, or run a jumper wire to the choke. You want to just get a jumper wire and we'll hot wire the choke? Oh, it is going to the coil. Okay. <clears throat> All right. My mistake. Open this carb up right there. Hold that flap open. So when you look down in here, this is your accelerator pump. You can just push down. You ain't got to pump this if you don't want to. And let's see if we're getting some gas. There's some gas. Boom, boom. That's a lot of fuel. Cut off. Hit that hot wire. And... <clears throat> Let's see what we got. Good. This might be loose. Uh, yeah, it is really loose. Let's try it again. Fired right up though. We just a uh, whole lot better right before it was boggy and just acting like shit from one low cylinder we did check the other cylinders while we had it off uh, the one side we did a vacuum test and everything looked pretty good i'm gonna pull this timing back now that we've burned off any marble mystery oil that might have been in there i knocked our power wire off we just hooked that right to the coil power on this ignition circuit let's run it one more time out of the carburetor a little bit that time so that means our timing 
uh, is off. So we're gonna put a timing light on this here in just a few minutes and we're gonna set the timer. We don't wanna run it too much and get it hot. We don't have the cooling system hooked up, but right now this thing is running a whole lot better. And after just a little bit of tidying up, setting the timing, it's gonna be ready to go back in the boat along with this cool motor over here. And we gotta do a lot of stuff to that boat. We gotta drain the gas tank. <clears throat> we got some cables to replace on some indicators. Uh, we gotta put batteries, spilge pump. There's a lot of little things we gotta do. So it's a lot of work left to do, but now we know we've got two decent running engines. So we're gonna be confident to get those installed here real soon.